with our thermal unit, all technology is built into one system. That also makes it easy to exchange it for service and maintenance purposes. Everything is plug and play, so there is no technician required to make the connection between the three modules. We have different thermal units in our range. We make a difference between cooling and freezing units. Our cooling units are the TUC-1800, the TUC-2000 and the TUC-6000. And they have a temperature range between 2 degrees Celsius and 25 degrees Celsius. Our freezing unit is the TUF-1000 and has a temperature range between minus 20 degrees Celsius and plus 2 degrees Celsius. In this charge you can see which TU can be used in which condition. The TUC-1800 can be used for boxes with a volume up to 1800 liters and 40 degrees Celsius ambient. The TUC-2000 can be used for boxes with a volume up to 2000 liters and a 50 degrees ambient temperature. The TUC-6000 is for boxes up to a volume of 6000 liters. For custom freeze, we make the distinction between two wall thicknesses, 5 cm and 10 cm. On top of that, we look at two ambient temperature ranges to define the performance of the product. One is 30 degrees Celsius ambient and the other one is 40 degrees Celsius ambient. For 5 cm, we cannot offer a product where we can guarantee the temperature at 40 degrees ambient. But for 30 degrees ambient, we can reach down to minus 20 degrees Celsius for a maximum volume of 1300 liters and minus 10 degrees Celsius for a maximum volume of 1800 liters. For the 10 centimeter panel it's a little bit more complicated. This is due to the fact that we have on both ambient temperatures a product performing. We can reach minus 20 degrees Celsius with a volume of maximum of 1500 liters and minus 10 degrees Celsius with a maximum volume of 2000. With 40 degrees Celsius, we can reach minus 20 with a maximum volume of 1000 liters and minus 10 with a maximum volume of 1500 liters. For freeze, we have the TUF 1000 range. We have two versions, one for 5 cm panels, which are called TUF 1005, and one for the 10 cm thick wallness, called TUF 1010. Important to understand is that we guarantee performance only in case the conditions are set out as in this table. Which also means that freezer boxes are always made of polyurethane panels. The TU has the following features. Temperature controller display. Main switch. High pressure warning. 110 to 230 volt connection, 12 volt connection, master out connection, cooling active indicator, selecting buttons for temperature setting, set button, temperature display, alarm signal, the cooling unit is equipped with digital temperature controller. This allows easy setting and checking of required temperature. All our thermal units have a 12 volt and a 110 to 230 volt shore power connection. The advantage is that you can supply the unit with power in different ways. 12 volt from the car, 110 volt to 230 volt mains, or a power pack containing a battery and a built-in bug boost charger. The advantage of the shore power connection is that the box can be pre-cooled before using. The result is a lower CO2 exhaust and it saves fuel. The advantage of a power pack is that the unit continues running even when the engine is off. Switching on the unit. Use the main switch. Note that if the remote control is installed, the power switch on the thermal unit needs to be always switched off. Use the power switch on the remote control to turn on the TU. Temperature setting. During normal operation, display shows the actual internal temperature of the box. Press the set button. The set temperature starts to blink. Press the selection buttons to change the set temperature. Press the set button again to confirm the temperature and to return to the current temperature display. Indicators. Unit can be in one of the four possible states. Cooling active. 
heating active, on temperature, delay of operation mode change. Press the set button for 6 seconds and parameter E1 will flash. Press the set button again to scroll through the parameters. Press the selection buttons to see and change the set value. If no button is pressed for 6 seconds, the display returns to the current temperature display. When the Viva box is inside the vehicle, it runs on the 12 volt provided by the alternator when the engine is running. Note that the size of the alternator is big enough to deal with the power consumption of the TU. The Viva box TU requires at least 11.5 volts. The power requirements for the different TUs are as follows. TUC1800 and TUC2000, 37 ampere in cooling mode and 50 ampere in heating mode. TUC6000, 90 ampere. TUF1005 and TUF1010, current draw is 50 ampere.